So uh, I introduce myself. I am Basirima Kune, Dr. Basirima Kune. I'm from Côte d'Ivoire. I am in the University of Felix Ifoubouani of Abidjan. And I've done this work with uh, Professor Omolo Ongati from Maseno University in, of Kenya. And the, the topic is concerning about the place of traditional music in public school of Côte d'Ivoire, challenges and prospects. I just want to say that Côte d'Ivoire is a country in Western Africa. Evolution, education occupies a very important place in the life of African nations. Priority of priorities, according to the Ivorian authorities. In, in fact, Côte d'Ivoire spends on average 5% of its GDP on education. The political speech advocates the promotion of Ivorian culture. For example, a law of 1977 said that, that curricula and teaching method must be based on traditional and local knowledge. They must develop a spirit of research and openness to the realities of rural and urban life. They must erase awareness of national culture and the role of the state in nation building. The law from nine, in, nine, in 1977. But what is the problem? The problem is that there's an autonomy between the political discourse and the reality in the ground. For example, little place given to traditional music. The statement of the problem is that how can music education contribute to the construction of a nation, of a cultural or cultural identity and person, personality if traditional music and musical instruments are absent from the country education system. The hypothesis is that the absence of traditional music and musical instrument is justified by the lack of interest in the discipline in terms of teaching time and coefficient. The purpose of this study is so to contribute to cultural development and nation building by including traditional music in the school curriculum through the enrichment of curricula and the hourly quota of the musical discipline in the Ivorian education system. The methodological, methodological approach, we have two methodological approaches. The first one is documentary approach, based on the search for document correlating in relation with the, the theme and the analysis of the content. And then we have the quality, qualitative approach, which consists by an interview, two kinds of interview with two kinds of people, the category of four, four actors, students, teachers, head of secondary schools, head of higher education school. And then the interview gathers the opinion of 102 individuals in three public primary and secondary school on, over time on three towns, towns of Côte d'Ivoire. And then in two specialized art institutes. The first one is LEA, is a high school of uh, secondary school of music, and the other one is conservatory of music, and on University of Felix Ipeboin, where I teach. The age of the respondents varies between six for the primary to 60 years old. The theoretical framework, data analysis was based on the work of Quivi and Campedou. We have the statistical and graphical processing data on use Excel to, to do the work. This is the result. We have two, two, two entities. The first one is the teaching in general public school. So we can notice that in the graph one, we have the whole volume of teaching in primary school. And the graph two, we have the same whole volume in secondary school. We can notice that music is less important because in primary school, we have, for example, French for 60%, math and science for around uh, 34%. Music is only 2% for of hourly time by, by week. And when I take in secondary school, school it's the same, the, same, the same notice you can do. You notice that math, mathematics, physics, French, and English are more important than music with only 3%. 
time by week. And then concerning the coefficient is the same appreciation we can do. You notice that concerning the coefficient, the discipline of music is the less important week, only one point where mathematics are, for example, three point and plus, and other discipline are more than three points, at least three points, two points at least. But music is only one point about the coefficient. But when we graph four, what does the graph four show to us? When we ask to people, to students, the preference of studies of uh, subjects, of course, music is at the top. Music on the top, music art is on the top. And after art, we have sport and mathematics is at the, at the bottom, okay? So now that this was concerning the, the public school in general. Now we, are, we take the public school for specialized public institution where we teach music, but it's the same, it's not more different. You can say graph five and graph six show us that music discipline and general discipline are clearly the same. 18 for music and 17 in hours in a conservatory, in institute, specialized institute. It's the same concerning the coefficient. So we see that uh, there is yearly the same, the same appreciation. The coefficient, general coefficient is uh, around 11 point and music is 11, around 15 points. And when we go to conservatory of music, we have two kinds of instruments that they teach there. They are, they are European instruments and African instruments. We have wings, strings, keyboard uh, in each, in each uh, level. But we can say when, we say, when we do the ratio between European instrument and African instrument, what does we notice? We notice that we have 16 instruments where which is teached in the conservatory against only eight African instruments in the same conservatory. So now the result is finished, we will discuss. What lessons can we learn? In terms of early volume and coefficient, music occupy the last place on the ranking of discipline in the primary and secondary school. Music instruments are non-existing in general public school of Cote d'Ivoire, uh, apart from, from the record, recorder, we, which is tolerate, not imposed, but tolerate. At the level of specialized institute, we notice that general subject and music are purely on a part, and music is slightly hard in the conservatory. In specialized institute also, European instruments are far outweighed 16 again, eight, the African instrument. As far as preference of uh, our concern for children and people and students, uh, music is by far preferred, but they, they, they prefer to learn uh, instrument, European instruments. In conclusion, what can we say? We can say that the policy of promoting nation culture, national culture advocated by the authority is far from being a reality. The law of 1977, reinforced by a law of 1995, uh, stipulated that school institutions responsible for education, teaching, and vocational training have a mission of providing education, social, and cultural training of citizens in order to enable learners to have access to culture. But it's not applied because you notice that it's not applied because the content of the curricula make little room for traditional music and musical instrument. So for us, as far as we are concerned, we consider that it is important to revise the content of curricula from primary school to university with the aim of giving a real place, a real place to traditional music and musical instrument, a real place to local efforts and artists, a real place to study of musical and system to retail singing techniques, to the music of traditional African societies, and to the learning of African instruments according to traditional system of transmission of knowledge. That's it. Thank you very much for your attention.